perfect. I paint a perfect picture. <laughs> Could you imagine when Pac was fucking recording that shit in the studio? That fucking mic must have been dirty as fuck. All right, Pac, hit it. Picture perfect. I paint a perfect picture. God damn, you are spitting all over the shit. Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Now, dealing with bad drivers on a daily basis has to be one of the most annoying things on earth. Because that is one thing that no matter what race, creed, or religion that everybody can relate to is that we hate bad drivers. Because I can't tell you how many times I wanted to take a tomahawk and just, you know, right at the back of somebody's tires and they just right off a bridge. What? But I would like for them to survive because I'm not a murderer. I would, you know, but if somebody else would, you know what I mean? <laughs> so if you ever needed someone to express these types of feelings and emotions that are going through your head, when you experience these types of drivers, you already know I got your back. I didn't spend a minute, but y'all already know what it is. LGI, baby, let's get it. Let's go. Use your signal. You know that damn thing next to your steering wheel that looks a lot like the thing you use to wipe your windshield? It's for your fucking turn signal. Oh, what's that you ask? It's for you to signal to me so I can know when the fuck you're turning. Yeah, how else are we supposed to know that you were gonna slam your fucking brakes and hit that sharp ass fucking right turn like you delivering a heart to an organ donor? Bitch, where the fuck are you going? Oh, that's right, because we're supposed to read your thoughts and know what you're gonna be doing. Bitch, do we look like Professor X? My X-Men powers are telling me you're a dumb fuck. And when they nearly cause an accident, when they fucked up, tell me what happens. They have the nerve. I said the nerve. Oh, I'm, I'm getting hyped. Hold myself. What? The nerve to get mad at you like you fucked up. Oh, ooh. I wish a motherfucker would. Do you know that you are the cause of the problem that for every action, there is a reaction? That if you slam your brakes and make a sharp turn without a signal, there is a good chance that somebody just might slam into the back of you. How do you sleep at night, you evil motherfucker? Yeah, you look like the type that sleep on a bed of crying puppies. That's right. Yeah, you sick fuck. Oh, and don't even get me started about this right here. When people get mad at you for not letting them into the lane when they didn't use their signal. Do you know why people aren't letting you in? Because we didn't know that you want to come in because you did not use your signal. Personally, I would gladly let you in my friend only if you signal so I know that you want to come in. So don't you think that there's a higher chance that you could get into my lane if you use that blinkity blinky thing that gives me a warning that you wants to come in. Cause if there's a decent gap and you wants to get in, David so, we'll let you go. And I know what some of you are going to say, well didn't you see me lean into your lane? Couldn't you already tell that I was gonna come in? Number one, there's a high probability that we did not see you because probably you was in our blind spot, you dumb bitch. Number two, if you're going to be all pushy like that, why the fuck would somebody let you in, you rude-ass motherfucker? Yeah, 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 I know you. You probably that dude that want to have sex with your girlfriend all the time, even when she don't want it. And you're going to push her fucking buttons? No means no, motherfucker. Like we supposed to read you and shit. Fuck, Professor X, you must think we miss Cleo, huh? The terror cars are telling me you're a bitch, you bumble clut. <laughs> when we are in traffic, stop honking your damn horn. Did you know that it's a scientific fact that nobody is going to move faster if you constantly honk your horn? That's right, I said science. I don't even know shit about science. E equals MC, fuck you. What you think? Just because you did this, uh, that everybody was gonna be like, you know what? Now that you honk your horn, <laughs> I think it's time to move. Ah! No, bitch, you ain't special. You especially stupid. Listen, I understand that you're angry. Traffic is fucking annoying. You got some somewhere to go, maybe you're hungry, maybe you gotta take a piss, but you pissing everybody else off doesn't help the situation. The person in front of you can do absolutely nothing to relieve your anger because just like you, we are also stuck in traffic. Keyword, stuck. Acting like everybody else on Gridlock wants to be here except for you. Remember, I swear to, ooh, just woo. You think everybody else in traffic is saying to themselves, well, I wanted to feed my kids dinner, but fuck those little shits. I'm stuck in traffic, yeah. Can we go even further and talk about the people who text and drive. Oh, what the fuck? You look a little guilty. Really, what the hell is going on in your life 
that that person cannot wait 15 minutes for you to text them back later. Cause you really have to think to yourself, is it that important? Because I guarantee you that it usually isn't. And the only reason why you wanna text this person back is number one, you're bored as shit when you're driving, or number two, is somebody you're trying to fuck and you just can't keep your dick in place or your vagina locked. Is that how it works? I don't know shit about women. I don't give a toucan butt fucking Sam who the hell it is on the other line. It could be President Obama himself and you could tell POTUS to hold the hell on up. Mm, David, I uh, uh, have something important to tell you. Well, Mr. POTUS, you uh, can't wait cause I is driving. And I know what you're gonna say. Don't act like you don't text and drive, David. Acting like a hypocrite. No, I actually don't text and drive. I might see a text on my phone from the car mount. Unlike you, you unsafe, not giving a shit about somebody else's life, you rhino butt fucking cocksucker motherfucking bitch. And by the way, not only are you endangering other people's lives while you're texting on your phone and you're not looking at the road above you, every time you are at a stoplight, what happens when you're texting? You forget that you're in a car driving, so when the light turns green, you never go. You are the reason there is traffic. Oh my God. And I'm just gonna put this out there. Fuck it, YouTube is sensitive as fuck. I don't give a shit. Hey, you texting and driving is dangerous because you might fuck somebody else up. You can hurt yourself as much as you want. I don't give two fucks about you. But if you have enough fucking sense to know and care about somebody else's life, get the fuck off your phone. Do I have more to talk about when it comes to bad drivers? Of course I do. But I can't, I can't do this anymore because I'm lightheaded from all the yelling and shit. <sighs> fuck you, bad drivers! Hey, what is going on, YouTube? So, uh, I am actually in my bed and doing this video like a crazy person. <laughs> Yeah, but so you know how I told you guys last week that we were going to do videos from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm actually going to flip that up because I realized how crazy that shit was. We are going to be doing videos the other way around. So starting from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you guys are going to get four videos from now on. Meaning Thursday through Friday through Saturday, you will get an LOL. And then on Sunday, you get your regular viewing, which is your regular funny ass videos. Whether that could be some articles, whatever you guys submit, whatever you guys you want to be involved in. You guys are gonna get that. So remember, Thursday through Sunday, new videos. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, I will see you guys there. Pervert lips. Oh god, what did I do? Fucking get me started. But I would like for them to survive. Nobody. <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit, I'm getting hyped. You're that fucking kid in kindergarten that would always cause a scene when they didn't get it their way. Drop it to the goddamn floor, spin it in a fucking circle till you got your damn way. Bitch, well, unless you Magneto and you could toss these fucking cars aside, we ain't going nowhere.